Sunday, March 26, 2023. I was very happy while feeding the street cats today at 4 a.m. At one point, Stubby and I had our backs to the camera and we were doing a dual rump shake for the live stream audience. There were a couple hundred viewers at that time. It put me in a good mood seeing all my furry friends just like it always does. Everyone was there today and everyone got a good meal in. The newest member of the colony, the little dictator, was waiting by the parking lot, hanging out with the parking lot crew, and she saw how all the other kitties greeted me. They were running low on, uh, we were running low on canned cat food today, so I brought 10 cans of sardines. For the rest of my life, wherever this life journey takes me, the smell of sardines will always remind me of feeding street cats at 4 a.m. on the mean streets of Chinatown in Honolulu, Hawaii. I chugged a monster energy drink today during my feeding. I usually like to enjoy an energy drink at halftime during this operation. The most common question I get is if my street cats are fixed, and currently, all of the ones in my colony that I feed are currently fixed. A friend of mine visiting from England helped me trap the orange tomcat that's been hanging around getting in fights. We trapped him on Friday. I contacted my cat connections on Saturday, and he's currently being neutered. He's a very sweet orange cat that we call Skippy. He's very muscular, and his skin is like a horse hide. He'll be dropped off later today, and we'll let him rest up until the anesthesia wears off before releasing him back in the colony. Skippy will be neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, and he'll have his left ear notched to indicate he's a neutered boy. I've been sleeping much better lately since I let the woman I'm dating reorganize and clean my apartment. I have not used my desktop computer in over a year, and it's nice to use it again. I'm on it every day, streaming. I took my time feeding the cats today. Sunday mornings are sometimes pretty quiet as long as there aren't any leftovers from Saturday night. I've been getting good exercise the past couple weeks, showing my English lady friend all around Honolulu. As you guys know, I don't have much money, but most of the things we've done have been inexpensive or free. I have a tough schedule. I'm usually in bed by 9 p.m. and I wake up at 3 a.m. every day. And I do enjoy being alone. Listening to music and chilling with the cats from the hours of 3 a.m. until 5 a.m. is probably my favorite part of the day. After I was done feeding my regular colony, I went down the street and fed PK on both Saturday and Sunday. I don't think anybody feeds her in the evening, so I try to leave her enough food that will maybe last her the whole day. There are 2 million homeless cats in Hawaii, and most aren't lucky enough to have a friend like me feeding and looking out for them. My goal is to put a dent in the number of homeless cats on this island, but even if I live to be 100 years, I won't be able to save all of them. It's more important that I set a good example for others. People anywhere and everywhere could see this video or any of my videos and it could inspire them to help homeless cats in their neighborhood or city. There's a small chance that I won't live forever. Personally, I plan to be around for at least a few thousand years. But despite what quantum entanglement says, I can't be everywhere at once. So I want to inspire others to feed cats and do the same thing that I'm doing. Once again, my name is Gregory Brandt, also known as Mr. G. I've been feeding these street cats every morning at 4 a.m. for almost four years now, and I'm really proud of it. Join me and the street cats live every day on TikTok at 4.20 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. And if you see a hungry cat, take the time and give it some food. Bad things happen when good people do nothing. Aloha.